It's here, Shed CN is now fully supporting Tailwind version 4 and React 19. And in this release, we have the new CLI that can now initialize projects with Tailwind version 4, although it's canary, and full support for new theme and theme inline option. All components are updated for Tailwind version 4 and React 19, and they're completely removing forward refs, which is really great news. Then every primitive now has a data slot attribute for styling, fixed and cleaned up the style of components, and they're totally deprecating the toast component in favor of sonar. So we are going to use now sonar for our toast. And buttons are using the default cursor. By default, it's no longer point cursor. So we have to add it if we want it in our button. And they're deprecating the default style and all projects will use New York style for Shetsy and components. And here in their docs, we have really great upgrade guide how to upgrade our project to new Tailwind version. Now I'm going to upgrade my OrgDev website, which is using Next.js 15, ShadCN, and Tailwind version 3.4 to Tailwind version 4, and everything should look exactly the same. The first thing we're going to do is to go to the Tailwind documentation and their upgrade guide to Tailwind version 4. And there we need to do only one thing, and that's to run this npx Tailwind CSS upgrade command and we are going to paste that inside of our terminal and there we are going to see exactly what's happening. So here we can see that they are linking tailwindconfig.ts and putting it inside the global CSS. Then they are completely removing the tailwind configuration file. We don't need it. So tailwind version 4 is now CSS only configuration and they are changing all the necessary files that have old class names and migrating everything to new class names. So if we go to our terminal again here and we put git status, we can see that many of our files have been changed. And if we check, for example, the shed CM badge and we type in git diff and then that badge, we can see that only thing here that is changed is this focus outline none to focus outline hidden. So that's the thing they changed in Tailwind version 4 and everything is refactored automatically. And now we can go to our second step. So here we can close the Tailwind guide and we can follow the Shetsian documentation. So then we need to update our CSS variables. And to do that, here is a step-by-step -step instruction. So we need to move whole root and dark out of the layer base. And that one is in our code. So we are opening our global CSS and we need to go to our root, this one. So we are going to remove layer base that is wrapping up our root here and our dark mode here. So I removed that one. Then next step, here is to wrap the color values in new HSL. And we are going to do that here. So for our root, we are putting in HSL and we need to wrap up every color inside of our root and inside of our dark. So here I'm using cursor. That's why it's fast like this. And I'm adding HSL on every color like this and we need to wrap up all the colors in order for that one to work. There it is, awesome. And now we need to add the inline option, which is a new thing to theme for, and that needs to be theme inline. So we are searching for theme here, there it is, and we are adding the new inline option. And the last four thing is to remove the HSL wrappers from theme and we need to remove them from here. So every HSL here needs to be removed so we can use these variables normally throughout our project, both in JavaScript and in our JSX components. There it is. So now I removed HSL from every color inside our team and it's pointing to the variables that need to be used throughout the project. And that should be it. So now if we return to the documentation, we can see that next thing is to update colors for charts. I'm not using charts on this project, but if you are, 
you just go to your chart config and you change also from HSL to variable for your charts and we can now use new size instead of width and height I'm already using that after Tailwind version 3.4 so you can update everything and last thing is to update our dependencies to the latest for all the Radix components for CMDK, Lucid React, Recharts, Tailwind Merge, CLSX so I'm copying this command and I'm going to paste it inside of my terminal here so don't worry if you're using recharts or actually if you're not using recharts this is not going to install recharts for you so this is just going to upgrade all the components that you already have and now we can see that that one is done and we can now test it out so I'm going to org dev here I'm refreshing and we can see that everything is looking exactly the same I can check here in the components so I can see my primary color is working that's this greenish color and everything looks pretty much normal and here if we go we can see that everything is working normally and as you can see here the button component no longer has that point cursor that is fine for me but if you want to change it you can just go directly to the button component here and just add cursor pointer for your button and that's it now I can push this to git and that one is going to be deployed and my project is going to work with Tailwind version 4. I hope you liked this video and if you enjoy this content subscribe.